Hey guys, uh, welcome to College Netted Engineering Bongan Gumere. So today we'll be doing sequence number 11. Okay. So let me read you the statement and do the demonstration at the same time. Okay. So this is your main circuit, right? You've got uh, KM1, KM2, then you've got Moto1 and your Moto2. Okay. So uh, let's read the statement. It says that when you press the start button, uh, your motor one must start rotating. So when you press the start button, okay, your motor one must start uh, rotating. Then it says that only after 10 seconds uh, can motor two be started using the very same start button. So only after 10 seconds can you start motor two using the very same start button. So you must come and press the start button again so that your motor 2 can start but that must be possible only after 10 seconds okay and then your statement continues to say that 10 seconds after your motor 2 has started rotating your motor 1 must stop rotating uh, automatically okay so after motor 2 has started rotating your motor 1 must uh, stop ro rotating automatically okay so let me just read this statement once more it says that when the start button is activated motor 1 must start rotating only after 10 seconds uh, motor 2 can be started using by starting or activating the same start button uh, while motor 1 keep on rotating then 10 seconds after motor 2 has started rotating motor 1 must stop automatically and motor 2 must keep on rotating okay so now let's come to the control circuit which is the good part uh, okay let me try to zoom in here okay so i'm just gonna show you the control circuit now okay so this is what we have we are using one start button but you can see uh, the retainers i uh, i put the retainer for km2 and for km km1 on the very same start button okay this one will we'll just say uh, let me call it stop okay yeah so this is your stop button and this is your start button okay so uh this is KM1, then Tema1, Tema2, and KM2. Okay, and these are oil coils. Okay, so now when you press this that button, your motor one must start rotating. Okay, so now we've got a normal open of Tema2 here. So, how are we able to make uh, motor one to start rotating immediately when it's press the start button okay let me explain so here you've got a delay of timer so this delay of timer remember it works in such a way that immediately when you energize it its contact change position same time so in such a way that when you press the start button current will run here you will say oh there's an open circuit and then it comes here to your timer 2 and then it energizes timer 2 and when it timer 2 is energized immediately it will become a normally closed will go from normal open to normal close allowing your km1 to be energized so your motor one will start right but now when your km1 starts here this normally open it will become a normal close because if this is normally close you eh, know this normally close will become a normally open yeah that's what i meant to say why because of it's a contact of km1 okay and remember, we don't want your KM2. This is KM2 coil, uh, coil for motor 2. We don't want it to energize uh, after 10 seconds because of after 10 seconds, when your timer finish counting, delay on uh, timer finish counting, it will become a normally closed. So in other ways, your KM2 will start and we don't want it to start. So that's why we added here a normally closed so that it becomes a normally open in such a way that when here it's open, current one escape to energize came to automatically you must come again and press the very same start button okay so let me just go online and show you the demonstration so we press the start button what happens uh, all your coils energize besides your came to your delay on timer is counting but your delay of timer is not counting okay you can see it's on to now your delay on so here it must become a normally closed to allow KM2 to be started using the very same start button. We'll see here it will become a normally closed. Yeah, now we can see that our uh, 
contact here is now a normal close so you can come and press the start button when you press the start button we want power will only flow to that side you see to that side this normal open makes it possible for game to not to start automatically okay so now if i press the start button what happens is that came to start rotating it will become energized and when it's become energized this normal tools will become a normal open in such a way that your delay of time will become de energized and remember the L of delay of timer starts to count after 10 seconds you know it starts to count after you de-energize de it and then after 10 seconds this normally close it will become a normal open so that your motor one stops rotating okay so let me press the start button and you can see that immediately your delay of time has been de-energized and it's counting is now on for and we see that your motor 2 also is rotating so both motors are rotating but now after 10 seconds uh, we want only motor 1 to stop rotating so and uh, now it's on 1 your timer 2 so this normally close must become a, a normal open to prevent motor 1 from rotating but now here's the nice part uh, your delay on timer must always be energized because of if your delay on timer becomes the energized then here it will become a normal open to prevent came two from continuing to run but now you see immediately when came one becomes the energized that normal open here is now a normal close so that power will flow from this side it comes and keeps on energizing your timer one so your timer one is actually receiving power from km2 side now okay so yeah that's more about it uh, nothing complicated but now let me start the whole process and you just watch for yourself so i press the start button okay just, yeah i press the start button and then uh motor one is starting to rotate and then only after 10 seconds must we be able to uh start our delay uh, i start our motor two okay let's wait and then just any time now yes and then now we see this is normally closed now so we can come and press the start button again then you see that both motors are rotating but now after 10 seconds we want uh, our motor one to stop rotating and our motor two uh, must continue to stop and uh, motor two or any motor can stop when the emergency button is pressed or the stop button is pressed okay so that's about it the statement says when the start button is activated motor one must start rotating only after 10 seconds can motor two be started by activating the same start button motor one must keep on rotating then 10 seconds after motor two has started rotating your motor one must stop automatically and motor two must keep on rotating thank you for watching uh i will also type the statement on the description below don't forget to like share and subscribe shop shop